Hi folks, today we're going to do a quick short video on how to set up Garmin Basecamp to your satnav. A lot of people have been asking me why it won't, why your satnav won't follow a route that you've produced on Garmin Basecamp and usually it's to do with how you've set it up in the first place. Um, your maps need to be exactly the same on Basecamp as they are on your satnav and also all the preferences, U-turns and avoidances, things like that need to be set up exactly the same as well if they're not all you're doing is you're causing yourself a headache by having a conflict between the two um, they like to run or they need to run identically um, in order for it to work properly so the first thing that you need to do is you need to know what maps are on your sat nav so you'll go you'll turn your sat nav on and you'll go into settings on your sat nav from settings you'll go to maps and then in your map selection somewhere in there you'll have something like installed maps or map set or something like that once you've clicked on that um, you will then it'll bring up a dialog box with what maps you've got in there I'll try and show you on my sat nav but the lights not great and the battery's low so what you do is on mine I go to settings I go to maps and then I scroll down and I get installed maps. Click on installed maps and you can see that on my sat nav I've got the Europe 2016.2 uh, map set on there. So that's what I'm looking for on Garmin Basecamp for it to marry up properly. So on Garmin Basecamp you go up to the maps, you left click and this is all the maps that are on my computer at the minute. Ignore the top four, the one that we're after is the one that's on the sat nav itself, so the 2016.2. Note that the ticks ticked at the side of it. That means that when I plan and map a route on Garmin Basecamp, Basecamp is using this map set to map that route. So when I'm transferring it onto the sat nav, the sat nav's got exactly the same mapping on there, so there's going to be no conflict on the maps. If you've not got the map on the computer, you need to load it on, and the way that you do that is through Garmin Express. You will plug your sat nav in to your computer using the USB cable and load Garmin Express up. Once you've loaded Garmin Express up, you should get a screen that looks something like this. You click on your sat nav, mine's the Zumo 590, um, and you'll come to a box like this that says Map Options. Click Map Options. You've got two options here. You can reinstall the map to the sat nav, which you don't need to do because they're already on there. But what you do need to do is you need to install the map to your computer. Now it's in addition to your device, not instead of, so the maps won't change on the device, but it will install all the maps that you've got on the device onto the computer as well, which is what you need. So you click install to computer and you let Garmin Express get on with it. Sometimes it takes 20 minutes, sometimes it takes 20 hours. It depends what speed your computer is running at and how fast is your internet speed is to download the maps. Um, once it's come up successful, you can then come back out of Garmin Express and you can also unplug your sat nav. Um, to check that it's gone on to Garmin Basecamp, you go up to your maps and it should be listed in here now. Uh, mine's already in here because mine are already on. Um, but once it's listed in here, make sure you've ticked it at the side of it. Just left click and it's and it's on there and it's and it's ticked. That's your map side done. You now know that your map is the same on Garmin Basecamp as it is in your sat nav. The next thing you need to do is the avoidances, um, such as ferries, toll roads, U-turns, this sort of thing. They need to be set the same on Garmin Basecamp as they do in your sat nav as well. Um, there's no point in having um, toll roads avoided on base camp but not avoided on the sat nav because there's a conflict again so the way that you do that is to go into settings I'll try and show you again before the sat nav runs out into settings into navigation this time and it will show you this is the screen that you're after um, so you're after your calculation mode I always leave mine set at faster time um, off-road recalculation I always ask it whether I want to be recalculated or not I'll go into that in a different video um, and also the avoidances and the only one that I've got that's avoided is unpaved roads okay so once you know what's avoided on your sat nav you need to do exactly the same on Garmin Basecamp and the way that you do that is you go into edit 
go down to options and you get this screen up here you need to click activity profile and then you get this box here and the one that we're looking for is most people use motorcycling because I've got a Zumo this is a tutorial on the Zumo side of it I don't know um, how the other sat navs run um, but the Zumo side of it it doesn't really matter which one of these you click because you are actually going to manipulate it shortly um, but just for ease of use motorcycling um, is what I do with the sat nav so it's just easy to have the motorcycling activity profile listed um, then go to your routing tab once you're on your routing tab this is your preferences sheet again if you like um, so these preferences here need to be the same as on your sat nav so I always use faster time the only road type avoidance I want to avoid are unpaved roads and the only feature type avoidances I want to avoid are climbing paths, narrow trails and I'll do well to get a cable, I'll do well to get in a cable car on the motorbike anyway. These are primarily for um, the little GPS handheld units that people go walking and hiking with and um, the Zumo, Zumos haven't got these three on anyway. Um, so if you use this, if you look at this table here and just make sure that what I've ticked you've ticked and what I haven't got ticked you haven't got ticked and then make sure it marries up properly with your sat nav as well um, make sure they're ticked or not ticked on your sat nav once you've done that and you're happy that everything is set up 100% and everything is the same you can click OK and there you have set up your sat nav to go on in base camp successfully you're now running the same maps and you're also running the same preferences and avoidances um, so when you come to draw a route on base camp and you transfer it over the sat nav will follow the route properly um, as long as you put plenty of waypoints and shaping points in which I'm going to go into in a different video this is basically just to set up the sat nav without setting up the sat nav first you may as well not bother drawing a route because it's never going to follow it um, don't matter what you do there's no point in having as I say 2016 maps on your sat nav and you running a totally different map set when you're drawing the routes on base camp it's never you're pissing into wind it'll never do it so anyway that's this video I hope you found it in, interesting and useful um, and I'll be doing another one shortly at some point this week on drawing a basic route on base camp and transferring it over to Garmin's sat navs and running through with it. Okay, thanks very much.